Hi, and welcome back to the Beginner Golf Series. So today we're gonna to go through the backswing in three simple steps. So these three steps are the takeaway, so the initial takeaway of the club, the halfway back position, so getting this club in the most sort of efficient position halfway back, and then taking the club to the very top so you can be consistent, but also create as much power as possible. So let's start with the initial takeaway. Now, I'm gonna give you some drills um, and some training aids that you can use as well to help these certain positions that would be great for you to do. You don't have to be at a golf course or a driving range to do them. You can quite easily do these from the comfort of your own home. So, the takeaway. So you wanna start in the position we went through in the setup. So making sure you've got good posture, making sure your grip is in a good solid position. Then for the initial takeaway position, you wanna try and take the club back as one, one piece. So you wanna be trying to keep your arms nice and close together, not squeezing them in, but just keep those arms close together and take the club back in one unit. And it's just like a gradual hinge right in the sort of the joint in your wrist, just above your thumb here, where we hinge the club. So as you take that club away, we're taking it away as one piece and then just gradually just hinging our wrists ever so slightly. So that's the initial takeaway position, just as we gradually hinge our wrists on that backswing, just nice and smoothly there. Then the position you want to see it is when you take the club back, you wanna see the shaft angle pointing towards your target. Now a really good way to work on this is if you have an alignment stick. Um, so you see here, we've got the alignment stick on the floor pointing straight to my target. So when I set up, I set up with my feet pretty close to the alignment stick. My hands just kind of inside the alignment stick. Take the, uh, take the shaft back. And as you can see, the shaft angle is the same angle as the alignment stick on the floor. It's parallel to the alignment stick. Now that's a really good drill to repeat. Just as you take that club away, just make sure that you've hinged your wrist ever so slightly. It's not just a, you're not just taking your wrist without moving your arms. You're moving your, your arms, your shoulders, and your wrist at the same time to get into this gradual hinge position. And it's really good just to repeat that over and over again, just so you get comfortable with that first move. Um, a couple of things we see um, with clients to come for lessons is dragging it on the inside or picking the club up and we get our arms disconnected from our body. So taking the club too far away from yourself. So what you wanna try and do is just take that club nice and level with the alignment stick, just that gradual hinge. So two good checkpoints for this initial takeaway in the backswing. Number one, let's go back to this alignment stick. Make sure the shaft is parallel to that alignment stick. So the shaft angle here is pointing straight to your target. Then at checkpoint number two is you want the toe of the club. So this part of the club here, you want that to be pointing up to the sky or the leaning edge to be the same angle as your spine. Two things you do not want to be doing here is you don't want the face pointing to the floor and you don't want the face turning too much so the face is pointing to the sky. So a good thing to do is when you take it back to here, two checkpoints, shaft angle parallel to the alignment stick on the floor and either club face pointing directly in front of you or toe pointing straight up to the sky. So that's two really good checkpoints for you there. 